G'day folks, I'm Mitchell Dale and this is Rugby League Week TV. I'm joined on the couch by Martin Lenahan and welcoming back Eric Grove. Welcome Thanks to the for finals. being here boys. Welcome to the finals indeed. What a cracker to start us off. Two bitter rivals. We don't see too many rivalries, a lot of them have gone out of the game, but South Manly, it's still around. It's a big one to start off. Yeah, it's turned into one of those ones, hasn't it? Um, mate, Jamie Lyon playing it down a little bit, I think, or the, uh, that old chestnut. I reckon it's going to be a cracker. It's going to be hard to pick a winner, but I'll tell you my winner in a little bit. Just in a little bit. But I mean, look, you go back to this time last year in the preliminary final, South were expected to win. Manly have proven themselves to be a real final side. South, they still have that monkey on the back. They've fallen at the final hurdle twice in a row now. What's the difference, mate? You've played lots of finals footy. What's the difference between a finals game and a regular season game? Well, obviously the atmosphere, the build-up, you kind of, like the origin thing, you kind of feel like you're in the centre of the universe there for a while. Everything you see and read and see on TV and hear in the streets is, you know, how are you going to go? And it's just all about that. Whereas in the season, it's, it is about that a little bit, but not as much. It's just more intense in, in, in every facet of the game. So It's all at stake as well, isn't it? it? Like, that's you know, it. you play during the year, you're going to lose some games. You know that. That's you can right. ride it out and come back in another week. Now, these teams do get to come back, but yeah. there's just so much more on the line. Oh, heaps, heaps more on the line, mate. You want to win that You want to win that first one and put you in good stead. You know, I know what coaches are like around this time of year. The, the speeches that the coach gives are a lot more intense, and they're all about, let's go on a winning streak because we basically have to and everyone's just going to be playing out of their skin to win. Yeah, interesting that you say they want to, you, you want to win the first week. Manly, for all of their, their, for their great finals record, I think they've only won one out of their past five in the first week of the finals. So they generally don't start too well. They just come home with a wet sail. Anyway, we caught up with Jamie Lyon this week talking about their form. Not so great. Let's hear, hear from Jamie. Yeah, good players. And uh, you always like to play against the, the best players in the comp. And, um, you know, the way they're going, they're, they're certainly on the way up. And, you know, they're going to be hard to contain. Yeah, I think so. We, we haven't really played our best footy for the last probably month or so and, you know, it's something that we spoke about and we, we want to improve, so uh, we're hoping, you know, Friday night's going to be one of the best games we've played. Obviously, I'd love to play at Brookie and seem to say it every year. Um, so hard to play all year and, you know, you, you'd love to get a home semi and, and play in our backyard, but it's not to be and I don't think we can change it any time soon anyway. Yeah, I'm hoping they can travel. It's um, hopefully traffic's not too bad on a Friday, are they? Maybe they can get the bus, but yeah, we're hoping they can all get out there. And um, you know, we'd love to see some rain and white in the crowd. Yeah, I mean, as he says, they probably haven't been at their best. Uh, and South, as he says as well, are a team on the rise, but. Jeez, but as I said, Manly, they just, they know how to play finals. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a cliche that this is a new competition, but it is. I mean, the fact is they're a great finals team. A lot of talk about them having to come away from Brookie. Now, personally, I think that's a dud deal. They should be playing over there. But they've won seven of their last nine at Allianz Stadium anyway. So, OK, they're not going to have a, a good majority of the crowd. We know that the crowd's going to be for South, but... Mate, these are big game players. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's going to bother them at all too I'm, much. I'm not falling for that old chestnut, mate. Jamie Lyon, he's doing a, doing a good thing for his club, playing it down, playing the underdog card, mate. Doing the old Desi and flying oh, under the radar. I can't believe the odds. Like, they, are, they, are, um, they are not underdogs in my eyes. They are a finals team, and they play football every week like they're in the finals, and they even take it another step up for the finals. Yeah, OK. We, caught up, we also caught up with Kyle Turner from the Bunnies, talking in particular about Sam Burgess, just phenomenal. I'll talk to you guys about him in a sec. Firstly, we'll hear from Kyle. Oh, mate, he's, he's a great part of the side. Um, he's, he's really put his body on the line every week, as you can see. Um, and it's just, to play with the likes of him, it's just, it's, it's basically an honour to play with him. Um, and we, hopefully we can send him out on a good note um, this year. He's just, he's a monster. He's, his work rate's unbelievable. Um, and you can see he's willing to do anything for the side. Um, you always try to model it off him and it's hard to do, but you always try. Yeah, he's just been in sensational form. He looks like he's carrying a bit of a hip flexor injury. He's been limping around in back play a bit and then he just unleashes on the, on the opposition. He's just incredible. He's like the, the incredible Hulk, mate. I don't think a little tear in his, in his uh, hip flexor is going to worry him too much this time of year especially. Yeah, no, he's a freak, and I mean, that, this, he's leaving the game, obviously got a lot to play for. English carrying an injury as well, doesn't matter. I think they come in, there's so many guys are hurt at this time of year. For me, I reckon South can get the job done, and Burgess will be a key part to it. As tough as it is for me to tip against Manly this time of year, I'm going to tip, tip South. Yeah, and look, as much as I've been saying, I think they're a finals team, I can't go past South either. So all three of us are taking South, it's going to be a belter. Can't wait for it, boys. We'll find out who wins in a few hours.